Welcome to a brand new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Jason Grandin, your host with the one and only Arizona Real Estate Showcase, also known as the Lockbox, for those of you that want to watch the show at the lockbox.tv. 2022. Who would have thought? Another crazy uh, year behind us, and we are on to a brand spanking new year. And uh, a great year it's going to be. So uh, we can jump right into it. I hope everybody had a great holiday. I know um, our last podcast uh, was a little over a month and a half ago. So uh, I've had some emails. and People are like, hey, when's this coming back? Well, we are back weekly. And we, we're going to be covering a lot, a lot of stuff. So um, we want to stay kind of focused on Arizona. Well, we will stay focused on Arizona. So here's one thing the Grandin Group, Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team has done. We have officially expanded into Prescott, Prescott Valley, Mayor, Flagstaff, Sedona, the whole Northern Valley, Northern part of Arizona. And I've got to tell you, it is a great market. There are some great people up there. Uh, There's a lot of people moving up there. Down here in the valley, Phoenix, Chandler, Paradise Valley, Cave Creek, all those fun areas. It's absolutely crazy as well. So for those of you that um, are thinking, oh, we got a market crash coming. It's coming. Well, we know it's going to crash, and it's going to be like 2008. Hate to tell you this, but you're wrong. It's not going to crash. We might see a little bit of adjustment here and there, but it's certainly not going to crash. Prices are going to stay high. We, interest rates are going to start climbing, but there's 300-plus people a day moving here just to Maricopa County, not counting the other parts of the state. So prices are not going anywhere. Renters. Hey, I don't know what to tell you. I feel for you. Um, on my list right now, I've got well over 130 people looking for rentals that are under $1,000, and you're not getting one. So I would suggest getting a roommate, boosting that price up. The mediums on rent have just increased tremendously. So we talked about low-income housing, and I'll do a, a segment on low-income housing um, maybe next week or the following week, but it's, it's not good. And um, while as bad as this might sound... We want to have people that come here to rent. We want to make sure you get to a position where you can do home ownership. So the renters that are just comfortable renting, they don't ever want to buy, they're happy paying five, $600 a month, it, you're, you're, you're getting priced out. So you're going to have to change your thought at some point. So anyways, the real estate market of 2022 has got a great uplook. Um, things are looking positive. Prices are going up. There's a ton of building, ton of companies coming to town. Uh, which is just going to keep driving these things up. So the one important thing, that I, and I tell everybody this, and for those of you that follow us on Facebook or Instagram at the Grandin Group, um, you know, I try not to get too political on stuff. But with that said, get involved. You have to get involved. So um, right now, the school boards. Yeah, everybody in the country has heard about the school boards and this and that. Pick something you, 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 that you're passionate about and just put your voice out there. You don't have to go to the meetings. Just jump online, put your voice out there, send a letter in to your local legislative district member and just get your voice heard. This has a direct value on your house. So if you're not active in the schools, for example, and you've got a school that's up the road from you, and the school's just bad. The kids aren't doing good. They're closing down all the time. You're going to see your values decrease. Unlike some of the areas where there's great schools, you're going to see the values increase. So that's why some of these uh, areas, Kyrene School District being one, fantastic prices on their homes, and they keep rising. Scottsdale is still good, even though we've got some clowns running the, uh, the boards and the superintendent for Scottsdale. Um, you'll see a direct result from those clowns and the prices. I, I say dropping, but the prices are still ridiculous. But um, it's getting fixed, and we'll get that stuff taken care of. So anyways, get involved. Um, and like I say, it, it's, it's a direct influence on the value of your house. So going into 2022, we're going uh, to have some fun. We're going to have a good time and... Um, you know, we are into an election season, so we'll be talking about how different things will, could affect uh, house values and stuff like that. Um, areas. Okay, well, we've mentioned this before, and for those of you that are new. Oh, first of all, let me, let me tell you this. 
Thank you for making last year, 2021, a great year. I just got my numbers. And um, it, it's as somebody who's just out there hustling, trying to get some deals done, making sure everyone's taken care of, to see the numbers that came back from the podcast. This is not the TV part of our show. The podcast numbers were absolutely incredible. So apparently we did um, 48 episodes. And um, our numbers, we had something like 41,000 listeners, which is fantastic. So, and that's all over the world. So, I mean, not it's, there's no Joe Rogan or anything, but 41,000 listeners in 2021 about a local radio show about homes and things going on in Arizona. So, you know what? I can't tell you. I'm humbled. It is fantastic. So, we're looking forward to growing that. And, uh, you know, I want to hear from you. GrandonGroup.com. You can go to Facebook, The Grandin Group, Instagram, The Grandin Group. And let me know subjects you want to hear about. So, okay. So, for the first part of the year, I think the best thing to do is to sit there with our goals. And our New Year's goals should be to kind of sit back and say, okay, what do I want to do this year? So, a lot of you know that we own InstantRenters.com and the rental market is great and um, we do a ton of rentals, but I got to tell you, why with the rental prices climbing, why are you paying someone else's mortgage? Why are you paying $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 a month on a place that you're renting and you get absolutely nothing out of it? So there's great programs out there to buy a house. I mean, you can get nice conventional loans for as low as 3.5% and I'll introduce you to lenders if you need it so they can answer the right questions. But I, I'm just trying to figure out, if you buy a house and you could buy a house even at 5% down, just to make the math simple, and you spend $300,000, that's um, $15,000 down, when if you rent a $3,000 house to rent, you've got to come out of pocket almost 9000 So it, it just makes no sense. So you guys have got to start kind of thinking, all right, 2022 is going to be my year. Interest rates are going to start climbing a little bit, but still... A five hundred thousand dollar house generally is going to be around eighteen hundred to two grand a month. And again, don't quote me on that. I'll get you hooked up with the lenders if that's the route you decide to go. <clears throat> Make this a year <clears throat> that you consider buying. Get a vision board, which, by the way, is a fantastic little way to change some stuff in your life. So, if you guys are sitting around and you're like, "Ah, oh, you know what? It's just another day. I got to get up, go to work, take care of the kids, take the dog out, whatever the case is," take ten minutes. Get a little eight by uh, eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper or a cardboard paper, whatever, and you don't even have to write on it. Just cut a couple pictures out. Maybe you put a, a picture of a piece of cake on there, or a car, or a house, or a dollar sign, or uh, a, a, a girl or a guy, depending on what you're looking for, and make this. It's a vision. It's called a vision board. And so a lot of us lose focus because we don't have focus. So if you get up every morning and you have this, you, you open up your desk drawer, or you have it sitting on your wall, and you see this vision board, without a doubt, stuff's going to come to you. And it's, it's going to keep you focused on what your goal is. So if your goal this year is to make uh, $50,000 more than last year, then put a dollar sign up right above your computer, above your mirror, somewhere where you can look at it every day as a vision to kind of keep you focused. And hey, you can take some chances. So I was just, actually, here's something that you guys don't know. So December 11th of 2021, I finally got married after 17 years. I had two kids, and now we've had a great relationship and stuff. But she, uh, Amy wanted the wedding, so we finally got married. And it is definitely a life changer. So things things definitely change after you get married. It's great. In our end, it changes for the positive. But... Um, these are just the kind of things you've got to sometimes step out of your comfort zone to get things done. So go get yourself a house, condo, and right now is a great time. You can buy a place, and if you don't like it in six months or a year or five years, rent it out. You're going to be hitting positive income, and uh, you're able to make some money. So Arizona is a, uh, a fantastic market. We've got a ton of stuff going on. I've, and again, a shout out to Prescott, Flagstaff, Williams, those northern areas. They are growing at leaps and bounds. And for those of you that want to kind of get out of the big towns, you can shoot over to those small towns, which are becoming bigger. And, and again, get involved. Make it the way you want it. Make sure you vote uh, you know, for good HOAs, for good schools, for good government. 
and uh, things will be, you know, looking great. Uh, the market is looking up. It is going to be a fantastic, fantastic year. So we're, we've seen uh, price increases, just to kind of give you an idea, um, 33%. It's been kind of maybe a lot of the average on some of these homes in less than a year. Uh, the four-year average has been almost a 100% increase in rent. So just to give you an example and surprise, in December, uh, we had sold a house in 2017 to some people for uh, $257. Sold it in December, $655. Unbelievable. Four and a half, five years into it, and they more than doubled their money. So that's not with um, that's not happening to everybody, but everybody has certainly seen an increase. In fact, I've even had clients that bought a house and then sold it six months later and it picked up thirty, forty thousand dollars. So again, talk to an agent, talk to the Grand and Group, Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team, and let's get some goals going. That's what this is about and stuff. 2022 is going to be a, a great year. Arizona, for those of you that are listening from out of state, so again, I'm not getting political, but Arizona is an open state. We're not doing the mask. If you want to wear one, great. Uh, the restaurants, with the exception of Apple, which nobody goes to anymore, uh, they make you wear a mask there. Other than that, you don't have to wear a mask. If you're sick, stay home. Uh, Arizona's open. Restaurants are booming if you can get help. Um, which is a big thing here because there's a lot of people not working, which is beyond me. You can go to the local sandwich shop, Potbelly, which is a great place up here in Scottsdale, and they're paying like $18 or $19 an hour to make sandwiches. It's almost at a point where you're like, well, I do pretty good, but I mean, you go work, you know, three hour shift to make 60 bucks. That's fantastic. So get involved in the community, try to get behind it and support it, push people out of their comfort zone. Let's make 2022 a year that is just going to be absolutely phenomenal and stuff. It's um, come out to Arizona, check different areas. Renters, this is the, one of the biggest things I get. I get people moving from out of town and they're like, well, we want to rent before we buy. Okay, I understand that, but there's not a lot of rentals out here. But it is a good idea, and, and we've mentioned this in former podcasts, that the areas have different personalities. Every area you look at, every community has a different personality. So you call up and you're like, Jason, I want a um, nice area close to the freeways, but I want to be left alone. And I just want to be able to go home at night, be left alone, but yet I want to be able to get out without having to drive an hour to the store and I want to go hike and all that stuff. So there's areas. So for example, Troon up in North Scottsdale is a area everybody loves Troon, everybody knows Troon for the golfing and stuff like that. But what you don't know is that there's different communities inside Troon, like Estancia and uh, Desert Fairway, stuff like that, that they each have a different personality. One of the areas has more kids than the others. One area, most of the people, when I drive through there, they pull in their garage, shut it, they go inside, and you never see them. It's a quiet, quiet neighborhood. Yet on the weekends, they open their garage, they leave, and they go hiking because the mountain's right there. You've got McDowell Mountain Ranch, which has several different communities in there. Again, each one has a different personality. And that is why it's sometimes a good idea to rent or have an agent that's very frank with you that's going to tell you, hey, you know what? This area here, people are pretty active. You know, there's some areas of Sun City where they, uh, it's, it's an age restricted community, but there's some areas where the community is so active. That it's, it's like a teenage party at night. They're out in the park. They're at the baseball fields playing softball. Uh, they're going you know, to some of the restaurants early evening. And uh, it's just crazy. And hey, it's, it's a blast. So you want to know about these areas. Plus, you want to know the high growth areas, which uh, along the I-17, which I, and I wish, man, I wish we could go back 20 years and just snag up some of that land. Uh, a Taiwanese company is coming in and building a se big semiconductor plant there over like a billion square feet. And so um, that area is absolutely on the rise. You've got USAA over there, Gore. Now you've got this plant going in over there. You've got a hospital that keeps expanding, Honor Health. The area is booming. Five years ago, you could have bought a house for three twenty five. If you can get in for under a half million right now, grab it because other than that, it's just going to keep going up. So 
I know you guys have questions. Send them over to the Grandin Group. Check it out. We are going to have a blast. We're going to have um, a lot of stuff to talk about. For sure, once a week, there'll be a podcast. Sometimes there might even be two. And uh, you know what? Thanks for checking out. Let your friends know Arizona Real Estate Showcase and The Lockbox. We've got our new newsletter that's going to start coming out on the 15th and the first of every month. So if you're interested in that, sign up. Send me an email. I'll put you on our email list on it. Um, if you've got a business you want to talk about, your business, call me up. Let's talk about it, and let's put you on the show. This show is for you, and that's why, um, you know, it's one thing we love about Arizona. We love to promote Arizona businesses and people that love Arizona. So, hey, anyways, I don't want to keep you. I know uh, there's better podcasts out there like Joe Rogan or Charlie Kirk and all those other fun ones. So I do appreciate uh, the time you give me. Uh My name is Jason Grandin. We're with the Grandin Group, Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team. And uh, we hope to see you uh, soon. So, hey, shoot over emails, questions, everything. Next week we're going to start talking about, as we start moving into February, we'll talk about Valentine's Day and um, some fun things that can go along with that, maybe some parties that uh, you should attend or how to turn your house into a little love shack. And in fact, maybe that should be our opening song next month is The Love Shack. So, hey, oh, also one other thing. We are January 7th. Arizona Scottsdale is packed. Uh, A week and a half from now, the Barrett-Jackson car auction starts. Then we go to the uh, Phoenix Open, the Arabian Show, the Sun Circuit Raining Show, um, Bike Week. We've got a very, very busy first quarter coming up. So if you guys have questions, um, call up and stuff. As you know, I'm a native, so we'll get you hooked up. All right. Hey, thanks again for listening. Jason Grandin with the Grandin Group. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, not so much, um, but we're on there. And then, of course, uh, you know, you got YouTube. And then make sure you check out our show. We're going to start that up again this month to the lockbox.tv. We've got a ton of special people coming on. We've got celebrities, politicians, and just, quote, unquote, the regular Arizona folk coming on the show. All right. Hey, I'm Jason Grandin with the Grandin Group, Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team. Look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks for listening to another episode of Arizona Real Estate Showcase. We'll talk to you soon.